My pup and I have been living on the road for the last two years, but this year I decided to take us all the way from Mexico to Alaska. After a summer full of adventures up north, fall has begun to set in, which means it's time to start migrating south, yet again back to Mexico. The next days or weeks will be spent in a lot of solitude driving the 50 hours back down to the lower 48, but of course with a lot of stops for adventures. I just found the most beautiful campsite. Literally so gorgeous. Fado is cracked out. I'm guessing there's a squirrel. Oh, is there a squirrel? Well, I wasn't planning on stopping so early in the day, but this place is so beautiful. I think that I'm gonna have to. Let's <laughs> check this place out too. We are going to do a cold plunge. It's not going to be very easy because it's pretty cold out. And the water is also pretty cold. But Fado's not scared of it. Right. No, it's not. Yeah. Like, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, I guess. Oh, it's so yes! Yes! My hype friend! Let's go! Let's, let's freaking go! I was sitting at the gas station deciding if I should take this three hour detour off the highway to this one place that I had heard so much about. I hesitated to go because I was so tired of driving but a kind stranger at the gas station encouraged me to go so I did and it was actually the most magical and memorable experience of my trip by far. I kind of forgot to vlog a lot of this drive. If I'm being honest, the drive was so exhausting and I really just had my eyes set on getting to warmer weather. I specifically had one place in particular that I was looking forward to this whole drive. One of the most magical places I ever discovered on the road and after 10 days driving the Alaskan Highway, we have finally made it to the trailhead.
my backpack broke, so I use a carabiner to do the waist strap. Literally, there's no way to know that this is a trail. Like, how can you spot this? You literally can't. It is, it's so hidden. It's literally such a privilege to be able to experience solitude in these beautiful places. It's something that I will literally never take for granted. This path is like super, super overgrown. I have this big scar on my knee. Right there. Um, from this trail actually, because I was doing what I'm doing now, vlogging and walking. And I need a tree branch. And it really, really cut me really deep. Left a lots of blood and a big old scar, so maybe I should put this camera away. Let's go! Oh, to have four legs. You can tell that this is not a very well-traveled path at all. <laughs> but those are the best. Those are the best <laughs> kinds. This is the culprit. This is where I gashed open my knee. Right here. I was climbing over it and chuck, hit my knee. Be more careful this time. Whew. Okay, we're almost amazing. <laughs> Bono! Buddy, look at me! Oh. What you say?